What's up, everybody? This is JP. I'm getting a lot of feedback. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of feedback with the mask. Everybody's loving the white mask. I'm loving it, too. You know, because the white hats are going to win. The guns. JP says the white hats will win heaven to earth. Amen. <laughs> so this is great. Oh, man. So uh, something so... really cool, right? Uh, I was talking to a friend of mine, Emmanuel. He has an excellent YouTube channel. I'll post it right here. Make sure you check out his channel. Um, he shares a lot of good information. So I was talking to him back and forth. And he found something. He's going to share it in his channel. But I found something really interesting. Uh, I want to show you guys on Google Earth. I'm going to share it with you. Uh, probably I'll click on it to share their coordinates also. But it's really, really quite weird. Because if you look at the history, there was ice there. And now there's no ice. So... This is quite awesome. Let me show you. So, I'm going to show you right here, right? Okay, you see Argentina right here, right? Argentina. Okay. It's going to be in the islands of, the name of the island is Isla de los Estados. Island of the States. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Okay. And where we're going to go. Okay, let me show you where we're going to go. Okay, zoom in here. I'll tap in. But look at this, all right? All this was full of ice. If you go back like 2015, it was full of ice. Now, it, it, the pictures. But you can come out here, right? And you could pick up a lot of different animals okay like for example right here it looks like a beetle but also you have like an et right here sitting indian style meditating <laughs> i see that over here you see a face of a snake look at the eyes right there mouth okay you can see a mixture of animals here right here you can clearly see a face of a lion look at his ears right here his eyes his nose okay but as you zoom out you can clearly see a lot of different types of animals like right here you can see a, a face of an et right here you can also see a face of an et uh face of a human right here with a beard nose eyes like you can clearly pick up a lot of different animal species insects right here the beetle egyptian beetle uh this is quite interesting i'm gonna drop this you know yes we do know that there's there's distortion here with the satellite pictures, but still, you know, it's, what are the odds of showing so many different types of insects, animals, and humanoid beings, you know, and you clearly see a, an alien head, ET, right here, look at the eyes right there, like, you keep, you keep looking at it, and you pick up a lot of different things. Put in the comments what else can you see, okay? Now, let's see the coordinates. These are the coordinates, okay? Awesome. Really interesting. Really interesting. And maybe if you twist it upside down, you can pick up other things. Let's see what we see. Oh, a tiger's face right here. Uh, yeah, you can pick up, oh, spider, look at that, the legs of the spider, the back part of the spider, the front of the spider, like, you can pick up so many different animals, oh, the face of an E.T. right there, a face of a ostrich or a bird looking being, this is incredible, I found this really interesting. 
I like to look through Google Earth to see what they erase and what they bring back. You know, it's quite interesting seeing all these truth coming out. But yeah, it could be a distortion or something like that. But it's still amazing when you see it. What are the odds? You know, what are the odds? Also, NASA, a couple of days ago, they have posted, they had posted that they're going back to the moon. All right. We know that we have been visiting the moon and we are doing missions in our solar system. We got that 31 Atlas that now the New York Post just posted. And Emery Smith and I, we talked about it. Let me show you this video. Heard it. It has what? Like a like a 18% that it could hit Mars? Or yeah, land yeah. or land in Mars? <laughs> yeah. Or um, yeah, just pick up camp in between. Mm -hmm. And I think also one of the things that they the trajectory not only changed, but the speed. So mm -hmm. that's not normal for speed to, uh, to change. Um, or, or, or maybe this could be something that activates Phobos, one of the moons on Mars that has the monolith. I, yeah, I, I'm so glad you brought that up, JP. Um, I, that, I agree with you. I think there could be just an activating factor with all the, you know, you know about this, all the sacred sites, even the dormant pyramids that are all around the world, including under Antarctica. Um, yeah. which, which you're very well aware of. And some of these uh, amazing portals need to be activated. You know, really travel is not going to be in the future through a 3D. It is going to be uh, going through these portals, uh, getting from one place to the other. I think we're definitely going to have portal technology, you know, way before, um, you know, way before we have this other types of travel. Oh, yeah. Uh, where yeah. They're going to upscale quantum yeah. entanglement and it's going to be it and this is the post this is also the post that nasa put out right and, and why why they're posting that now you know we have this object 31 atlas coming in our solar system right and it's changing courses okay right now it's in between the asteroid belt and Jupiter, right? We know that a couple years ago, there was something happening in the rings of Saturn and the rings of Jupiter about these ETs that came in our solar system. You know, and a couple years ago, also, a Muamua, also an interstellar object that came in. I think this is the third interstellar object that is going to come in in our solar system. So this is really amazing, amazing that this is happening. And now the media is talking about it like if it was cheese, you know, <laughs> that's awesome. And NASA posts that we're going back to the moon. And as we know, the moon, right? I, I talked about this in one of my last videos that I did about the domes, right? About these beautiful domes that are in the moon. And as we know, right, the moon has goalie lock zones in these craters, okay? These craters have the ability to have life, okay? The moon has a lot of water. So if there's a goalie lock zone, room temperature 67 degrees, at night maybe 16 degrees, it's, it's still considered a golden black zone, you know, freezing point still, but it is what it is. But still, living things can live there. The golden black zone. And the moon has ancient tubes, right? In these tubes, there's people that live there. And they're working there right now in the moon. They're investigating these ancient ruins that the moon had. Amazing ancient ruins. 
these domes location also i can show you the location of these domes right the location of these domes nasa wants to investigate these domes i'll put the coordinates also for you guys to, to see these beautiful domes and i'll show you a picture of it why does nasa want to go to the moon now why does china is sending whatever they have to the moon what's going on okay what's going on is that these places in the moon are activating okay we know that there's an arc on the moon on the dark side of the moon that we have been investigating with the arcs of the atlantic and the pacific and other arcs around the world and they're tying up together and these arcs are activating and they're moving we got the atlantic arc that is above the ocean it can also move inside the ocean and it's getting closer to like the keys or probably moving south towards antarctica so amazing developments here uh let me show you how the tubes look like these tubes and these craters right these craters okay they look okay let me see if there's something here okay okay imagine okay this is the surface of the moon this is a crater okay these craters that are there right a couple thousand years ago a couple hundred years ago they were domes right they collapsed okay they collapsed so these collapse right happened but they got a ring inside right they got a ring inside these domes and it goes in has a lip all right these these craters that you see are actually collapsed domes that were there okay but yes there is other ones that are craters that are impact craters but there's other ones that the ones that look like this they got inner tubes that go in, right? And then where the sun hits, right? Where the sun hits, it creates Goldilocks zones in the inner part of these craters, okay? Goldilocks zones. So right here, it could be 270 degrees. And then at night, it turns negative 250 degrees and you're freezing your butt off but in these goalie lock zones when it goes in and it goes in and in is habitable people can live there and it goes in for miles these tubes inside these craters they can go in for miles and it can have vegetation and cities of ETs that live there and humans that are working together living in these tubes inside these craters. That video is quite interesting. We have been going to the moon, but NASA now is saying that we're going back. And there's going to be a lot of revelation. Where's the money? Where, where, where is the money going? Where is the money going? It could be possible that this kept going. Okay, I want people to do an investigation on this and look it up online. Okay, and look up how much it would have been in that time to do this. Okay, look this up. This is really interesting. This probably never stop happening.
and it's still going on. So people need to understand that. I have experiences going into space. I know a lot of people might say, this guy's out of his mind. You know, he he's on something. But I have experienced it. I can tell you, I have experienced going to space in the vicinity of the moon, in the vicinity of Mars, around Jupiter, around Saturn. I visualize it. I could take a lie detector test and tell you what I saw. I can clearly tell you that right now, as I talk to you in this video, there's people out there working in these missions, collecting data in our solar system with other ETs and interacting with other governments. Okay? I went through this. And other soldiers have went through this as well. There's other beings that live in our inner earth and in our oceans as well. The ant people that clearly throughout history, they interacted with the Hopi. They interacted with other Indians in North America, South America, Africa, Australia, in different spots around the world, you know? So let's put on our seatbelts, okay? Things are getting really, really hot. And it's gonna be amazing with a revelation. I know I keep saying this, but little by little it's coming out, guys. Little by little, all this information is coming out. And yeah. I love you guys. Thank you for being here in my channel. And there's going to be a lot of revelations. A lot of revelations coming out. Just keep your head in the swivel. Look at different technologies. AI is going to be amazing. It's going to create a lot of different technologies that already existed. And make it possible for the public. Let's, let's just keep at it sharing the love and I love you okay I love you so much Akuria Mate JPL enjoy your day night